Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. I should have looked at date, 20th I think, 20th of June, Monday 20th of June 2022. I got the year right, that's not too bad. How are you doing? Glad to hear that you had a good weekend and what you had for breakfast, some of you, thank you very much. Kind of continues to be very hot here, but now I've read some of your comments, uh, this does not qualify <laughs> for a heat wave in any way. Some of you are like, oh my God, it's like 36, 40 degrees. I was thinking, cripes, I can't say anything about it being hot. Okay, instead, I'm going to bring you a reading that appears to be shaping up to be entirely of reverse cards. So let's see, shall we? Let's see if I can glitter the turd. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> Nay! Alrighty, I'm just checking. Yeah, I do this because some of you say to me, are they all in reverse? No, they're not. I don't know how this happens to us sometimes, people. Maybe it's just the way that it is. There's some backwards energy. There's some retrograde energy of some kind um, because they are all backwards. They are all upside down, but that's okay. We can cope with that. Some of them, they're good to have actually upside down. There you go, I glittered the turd. Shling, shling. Okay, let's flip. Let's flippity doodahs. How do I do that? Flippity bop, flippity floppity, flippity dibbity bop. Woohoo! Shwing. Okay, tune in. Tune in. That's not bad. I've got the curtain half pulled across, so. Um, if they're a bit shaded, that's why. Okay, so along the top, if we look at the top, top of the turd, we have got the Knight of Pentacles. Mr. Knight of Pentacles, let me tell you about my trip. Um, he's in the reverse. So this means instead of feeling kind of together and patient and like you're going to do it properly, you're going to dot the I's and cross the T's, you can be feeling a little bit devil may care. I'm going to fly by the seat of my pants. Admin, who needs admin? Where we're going, we don't need admin. That's a t-shirt. People, it's a t-shirt. You see, I can't remember. I had a good t-shirt idea, which I wrote down on a pad, which I've now moved. And I was going to write that one down on the same one and it's gone. But there you go. Where we're going, we don't need spreadsheets. <laughs> I love that. Oh my God, I've got to do it just for myself. I will get it together. Honestly, I will get it together. There's a lot going on at the moment. Um, thank you to everyone that's joined the Gemstars membership. That is going on. You can join that in the description box and use my fantastical emojis, which are fantastical. Um, but apart from that, there's many things going on. So I'm a bit kind of like, want to do the t-shirts. Can't get it together because I don't want to do it sort of half-assed. Okay. So, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, itchy jumper feeling. Got to get it done. Going to do it anyway. I'm just going to kind of branch out. And then Ten of Wands in reverse. Now, I like this in reverse for quite obvious reasons. Because in the upright, it's not looking so good, is it? Not looking great there. That's like, <laughs> that, my friends, is when you have a, and let me know if this is you in the comments section as well. If you have a nine to five job that you hate, this is Sunday night at eight o'clock, isn't it? Do you remember? I remember that feeling. Boy, I mean, honestly, it probably started Wednesday night when I was still in the week that I was doing. I was dreading like going to the next week before it had even had the weekend. But Sunday night at eight o'clock, that kind of, <laughs> this is the feeling that you get, isn't it? About realizing you've got to go back to work or um, to college or whatever it is that you don't want to do. Or maybe you know it's admin day on Monday and you're like, do I want to do admin? Can you tell people that I've been doing some admin phone calls today? There's been some queuing, there's been some misspellings of names, there's been frustration on my part that I did not unleash. But yes, it's pent up and it's in there. Okay. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, a feeling of devil may care, a feeling of mm, gonna do it anyway. And then Ten of Wands, release. Almost nihilism, you know, it's just, 
Sometimes we get pushed a little bit too far, maybe by the ifs and the buts and the i's and the t's and the admin. Four of pentacles, letting go. If you think of the four of pentacles as being emotionally or financially or mentally constipated, then this is, this is the laxative. God, where is this reading going? I'm so sorry if you're eating your breakfast. You're like, for God's sake, I've got my overnight oats for this, Gemma. What are you talking about? Glittering turds, emotional constipation. There you go. Okay, let it go, people. Four of Pentacles is the release. I'm not going to mind that one because I don't know where it would end up. Um, the Magician. The Magician in Reverse. This chap's been coming up a little bit recently, hasn't he? Okay, Magician in Reverse is when you're either fooling yourself or someone's slightly fooling you. I don't get really nasty pasty energies from this. I just get mild annoyance, a little bit of triggeriness, seven of cups as well. It could send us into what would politely be called magical thinking, but might be called BS if we were being realistic about it. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, butting up, as the actress said to the bishop, to the seven of cups is a lack of mm, attention to detail leads to this, where we don't quite know whether we mean it or not. We don't quite know whether it's real or not. We don't know if we should or not, or even if we did. You know, it's that whole, you know, if you go out and get drunk when you're at college or something, and then you say to people, did I do that? It's that kind of energy. Did I say that? Surely not. Three of Cups in reverse, you might not feel like being around people too much. We've had some solitude -y cards come up, haven't we? solitude -y cards have come up in the last few days, and this is the energy of that, the Three of Cups. It's the energy of not necessarily wanting to clink glasses with your nearest and dearest, or even see anyone at all. You don't have to, okay? Not when you've got Ben and Jerry. <laughs> So many of you chimed with my caramel suit thing that I've got going on at the moment. And so many tips from, and so much ingenuity about how to get that stuff out of the tub. Thank you, everybody. You're like, you could do this. You could microwave it. You could put the spoon under hot water. I do this. I do that. One person, not identify yourself. One person had found a way of almost making it like rise out of the carton and eating it like a cylinder. I was very jealous of that. Okay, <laughs> fall in reverse, where angels fear to tread. Fall in reverse is a card that just says, look before you leap, or even look before you step, look before you do anything, because you're apt to do something silly if you, you're in this kind of energy of, mm, I'm gonna let it go, I'm gonna let it all flow out, never mind the consequences, there will be some with this and they won't be like massive or anything like that but they will be really inconvenient and then ace of pentacles our old friend here is poseidon showing off the dad bod he's got his big old pentacle up there he's holding it aloft love me a bit of aloft holding it aloft and he's kind of saying this is the big deal this is the the long game this is what really matters okay out of this confluxed and confused state, something that really matters will come, okay? Something more long-term, something that matters more than this small thing that you're probably feeling a bit wound up about. For some of you as well, someone's been on your tail a bit. You know, a bit like Minnie when she chases Leia around, stands on her tail, jumps on it, bites her bum, generally annoys her night and day. Leia takes it ever so well. God, she's so good about it. But it's that feeling of someone yanking your chain. Don't let them know that they've got to you. Okay, oracle card. Let's biddly baddly biddly bop back. We've not had this for a while. Round and round. It may be that you're not on the linear track. We never are. I don't think we're ever on a bloody linear track. I don't know where we got this idea. The clock isn't even linear, it's round. You know, 
the same clock for different days. That's weird in itself, isn't it? Yes. And all the clocks in my house break. That's also weird. But it's just the way it is, isn't it? Come to accept it. Round and round is the spiral of finding out, of doing, of getting there. You could be burrowing down, you could be spiraling up, doesn't really matter. What you're not doing is proceeding in a straight line like the Knight of Pentacles would like us to, okay? Leave me a comment. Let me know how that resonates with you. I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.